So you already know the coronavirus is spreading like wildfire and it's leaving a lot of industries affected. Among many of those industries is SMMA and really the, the whole advertising and marketing industry. It's pretty turbulent times and a bit scary for a lot of business owners, but in this video, I wanna share with you some of the strategies that you can use to minimize the impact and effect of coronavirus and potentially even use it as an opportunity for you to grow your social media marketing agency. What we're gonna be covering is first of all, communication. The importance of over communicating in times of crisis. Communication is absolutely gonna be vital moving forward to ensure that your clients know what you're up to, to ensure that your clients stay with you during this time of crisis. Number two is getting creative. What are some of the strategies that we can use to get results for our clients? in this time of crisis. Number three, finally, how do you use it as a potential opportunity to grow your SMMA? What are some of the ethical methods that you can use to regrow your advertising company and your marketing agency in this time of crisis? So I'm so excited for this video. I think it's gonna be of incredible value, especially if you have a bit of fear and you're scared of what might happen with coronavirus for your marketing agency. Hope you guys enjoyed this and let's get right into it. Now, the first thing that I wanna start with is the objectives. What are some of the objectives that we are looking for when implementing the three strategies that I'm gonna be giving you to minimize the risk of losing those clients and to really make the most out of the coronavirus crisis? And the main objective is pretty obvious, is to get your client to not pause, to not cancel your service. And not because we're using some sleazy uh, you know, sales hack, is because we're providing a ton of value and we're giving them such valuable strategies to really pivot and to really make the most out of their situation for their business that they are gonna want to keep us around. Second objective is really to carry out business as usual as well as double down on outreach and use this as an opportunity to potentially grow your agency by providing a ton of value to prospects, to people that are not yet your clients, but to people that you can be of extreme value in this tough times for a lot of business owners. So with those two things in mind, let's get right into the strategies. First thing that we need to keep in mind is communication. Just the importance of communication in times of crisis. And the reason why this is so important is because your clients are also scared. We wanna make sure that you're not hiding, even waiting for clients to maybe not notice the fact that they're spending money in advertising in this period of crisis, because that will definitely come back to bite you. You always wanna be upfront and, and really just be very involved with them in this time of crisis. And if you communicate it twice a week, communicate four times, five times. Really just take your communication to the next level uh, and this will serve you so well. As some of you may know as well, I don't like just being abstract. What I like doing is actually giving you concrete examples. And what I can tell you is a few days ago, I actually had a client reach out to me. They were being hit quite uh, quite hard by the coronavirus. And bear in mind, you know, for, for, for my clients, especially because I'm in the e-commerce space, uh, they haven't really been affected as much. Um, the only client that was affected was this client. And the reason why that was is because they had a physical location, a physical aspect to their business. Uh, they had quite a few um, locations in just top notch uh, malls and, and very famous malls in, in London. Uh, and obviously no one was going to those malls, right? And, and they were uh, losing quite a lot of money, a significant chunk of money. Obviously we had to restructure, right? We had to uh, really think of ways that we can uh, relocate money and, and really make sure that they are still making, either completely breaking even, minimizing losses and potentially even making money from um, their advertising by going full steam ahead with e-commerce instead of driving traffic to their physical locations, which was part of the strategy that we had devised for them. And so what I did, and knowing well that I could lose this client, I decided to jump on a call with them. And what actually ended up happening is this client decided to stay on. We actually restructured the fees so that they weren't taking such a, such a, a big hit uh, with service fees. Um, and so we decided to uh, restructure the fees um, and, and really make sure that after the crisis, obviously we made up for that uh, later on uh, with you know a percentage of of, uh, of ROAS, etc cetera, etc cetera. but basically we restructure our fees we restructure uh, our uh, strategy and it was incredibly valuable for them to really jump on a call with me and really hear from me uh, firsthand uh, what are some of the ways that that I thought and, and that my, my team thought uh, we could really make the most out of the opportunity and minimize losses and so that was incredibly valuable for uh, the clients I will leave some screenshots of, of that um, around the screen uh, but it was incredibly valuable and what I can tell you is I didn't lose the deal, I didn't lose that client simply because I jumped on a call with them and I was willing and, and really happy to over communicate to really go the extra mile for the, for the client and really just jump on a you know, one hour, one hour and a half uh, strategy call, to really pinpoint the best steps moving forward uh, to deal with the coronavirus crisis for that client. And so guys, I can't stress this enough. It's incredibly important to over communicate. What I recommend is you jump on a call with your team member, you guys put together a full uh, and detail a uh, strategy to really counterattack this crisis. And then you relay that game plan to the client. 
uh, and the client will really thank you for it and, and they will see that you're actually having their benefit in mind and that you're actually putting yourselves in their shoes because for a lot of clients, the problem with uh, agencies is that they don't really have skin in the game, right? They're not really involved and they're not really bought into their brand as much as they are. That's definitely a roadblock that a lot of brands have, having the you know the, the advertising being taken care of by an external team. And so if you really truly care about the company, which you definitely should, and that's really the best way to provide an incredible client experience, they will so thank you for it and you'll be able to keep those clients for much longer. Final thing that you should uh, relate to them is the fact that it can actually be looked as an opportunity. And bear in mind, this may really differ uh, depending on the niche that you're in. For example, if you are uh, driving traffic for restaurants uh, or gyms, this could be totally different because quite frankly, you've got a bit of a problem there simply because they're not really gonna be uh, driving leads or, or driving traffic to their physical location, especially if the country is in lockdown uh, or completely shut down. If that's the case, then it might be a bit different to, to you uh, and you may be able to see other alternatives, other avenues where you guys can capitalize. But what you really need to make sure the, the client understands is that it can actually be an incredible opportunity and a way to get an edge over competitors because in times of crisis, the people that win is the people that are willing to go against the fear that most people have. Instead of thinking of the drawbacks, they pivot and they look for opportunities to get an edge over competitors. This is absolutely vital for e-commerce businesses. It's an incredible way for uh, smaller companies in the space to get an edge over competitors who might be uh, driven by fear and who might completely stop all, all you know all their advertising, all their marketing. I'm not saying be completely ruthless and reckless and just keep spending on the same ads, same campaigns that you were spending on because quite frankly, that could potentially lead to a lot of losses, but you really need to pivot and, and look for opportunities and ways to, to really continue to grow the business, whether that's using your VIP customers, using your brand evangelist, uh, using your, your uh, list of customers already, uh, tapping into retargeting, being completely upfront about it with your uh, tribe, getting goodwill from your tribe even, being completely upfront about the, the tough times that your client could be facing, et cetera, et cetera. And that actually leads me to the second point, which is getting creative. To be completely honest with you, times of, of crisis and, and tough times, it's very clear to see who's actually the good advertiser and who's actually the bad advertiser, who's actually the good agency and, and the, the agency that can ride through the tough times and who is the poor agency that's gonna vanish when tough times come around. The reason why I say that is because this time of crisis will really test your ability as a marketer, as an advertiser, it will also test your team members. Continuing to run the same ads, the same campaigns that you were running before, it's not gonna cut it. What you need to do in this time is completely change the message, right? People are worried. You're your potential customers are worried, they're scared of coronavirus, and you need to change your messaging to address those fears, right? To to potentially get them to jump over the fear barrier that a lot of people are having in this time of crisis, right? You also need to express a different benefit that people are currently looking for in this time of crisis with your product, right? If you're selling, uh, for example, supplements or nutrition products and your selling point prior to that, uh, or, or the, the product that you were pushing was, I don't know, collagen for uh, just better hair growth, what you need to do now is find a way to maybe look for other products, other front-end offers that are actually more suited to strengthen immune system, right? Uh, and so that's just an, an example, but really the bottom line is you need to find a way to get creative, to really look at the front-end offers that you're currently running and really make sure that you're picking the ones that are best suited for this time of crisis that people are screaming for, are more desperate for in this time of crisis to speak to the prospect's fears uh, and really just address them uh, completely upfront. So that's the second thing, being creative. Third thing is how to use this as an opportunity to grow your service, to grow your marketing agency in a completely ethical way, right? In a, in a way that you're actually adding a ton of value to prospects. In this part, I'm gonna be revealing, I'm giving you an insight into some of the strategies that I'm gonna be using for my agency in this case. But again, as you did with the ads that you're currently running for the clients, you are gonna to need to change your messaging as an agency. The tone, the topics, and the phrasing that you're using for your outreach emails and your outreach messages are gonna to need to be changed. You can't just leave it as it is because honestly, it's gonna look like you're not in touch with the current landscape. And as a marketer, that will be the most clear sign for the prospect that you don't really know what you're doing, that you, that you don't really know how to read the, the current landscape and really tailor your message to a, an audience that interests you. And so as a marketer, you need to be able to really change your outreach messaging and your value proposition around so that you're actually offering a ton of value to business owners. You need to sit down and think, what are the business owners in my niche currently fear? What, what is it that, that keeps them up at night? What is it that they're currently looking for the most? 
in this time of crisis. And that could be, for example, a you know 20 minute free coaching call, you know, giving them uh, strategies on how to best minimize advertising losses. What are some of the marketing strategies to use in this tough period? For example, uh, making use of the VIP customers, making use of their email list, tapping into marketing mediums that are just completely upside and do not require cost of acquisition like their email marketing or using their current social media audience, et cetera, et cetera. That's just an example, but I hope you guys get the point here. You need to make sure that you offer a completely different value proposition to those prospects and that's gonna drastically increase your conversions. Whereas if you just completely leave it as it is right now, it's actually gonna get a lot of people angry at you and a lot of people probably mad at you because you're completely neglecting the current uh, social landscape and you don't wanna do that as a marketer, uh, as an advertiser. So that is one of the things that I want you to keep in mind. In my case, for example, I've just given you guys a bit of an insight into the way I'm gonna be providing value to prospects. Uh, currently, I've got an email list uh, full of potential prospects of people that have already had a conversation with and then you know, end up converting into clients. Maybe they needed some, some more time. Maybe it just wasn't the right fit or the right time, or maybe we were at maximum capacity. What I'm gonna do is I'm working on a few email campaigns to really make sure that one, I'm caring about them. Um, I'm inquiring how they're doing uh, because I truly, truly care. And that is one of the things that you guys probably have uh, realized about me is that caring is by far the biggest edge and the biggest differentiator uh, in any business, right? And one of the things that I take away pride in is actually caring for both my students and my clients, uh, but I digress. What I'm gonna be doing is first of all, inquiring how they're doing, continue to build in that relationship, being complete service to them, and then offer them a value proposition where I make it very clear that it's not a sales goal. That is completely true. Where I make it completely clear that it's not a sales goal, but I offer them, you know, 20, 30 minute a free coaching call where I give them some of the strategies that we're currently using for some of our clients to really uh, ride through the, this, this top period. I still get really good results with their e-commerce side and a few other goodies that they're really gonna value. And I know for a fact that's gonna be of incredible value to them and making sure that they know it's not a sales goal, that I'm not going on that meeting to uh, try to sign them onto clients is absolutely vital. And that's not the typical thing that you say, hey, it's not a sales goal or it's not a, uh, a pitch, but you know, really at the end, you try to uh, upsell them. That's not the case, right? I'm going on that call to just provide as much value as I possibly can to really help them a ton because I know that that's gonna increase my, my value in their eyes. That's gonna help them a ton. And in the future, I know that if they're looking for a person who can get the job done when it comes to digital marketing, when it comes to a 360 e-commerce growth approach, they're gonna go to Mogul C. They're gonna go to our agency. That is that for this video. Those are the three strategies that I personally recommend you use to really make the most out of this situation and to really ride through this tough time. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. It really helps a lot with the algorithm. Also, leave down below any questions, any queries you may have on this video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's so much content coming out. For those of you who are in my free Facebook uh, private coaching community, uh, you will have seen a, a full breakdown of this post and a little uh, additional bonus. If you want to check that out, go ahead and check out the link in bio. That will take you to the free private coaching uh, community. And the final thing is I truly hope uh, you guys are doing well uh, with your agency. I really hope you guys are not taking a big hit. But if you are, my last words will be this. If you've lost a few clients or if you've lost your whole clientele, what I recommend is you take this time to really diagnose what are some of the weaknesses that you had? What are some of the reasons why they uh, decided to, to cancel, to pause? Um, and don't just blame it on, on, on the coronavirus because again, there's, there's a ton of things that you can do to really minimize the impact of it. Really, you know, take full uh, responsibility, be, be completely accountable to your actions and really look at the ways where you could have done better, uh, some of the systems that you could have implemented uh, to really make your agency more robust. Um, but as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey and I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.